I want to just offer a few little signs of hope in closing because, you know, we need it, don't we? I need it. I need it. I'm sure you need it as well. This is the most common response I get from girls around the country. We have the right to say no and not feel bad about it. More girls are contacting me saying we're standing up for ourselves. Just this week, just yesterday, I was at a school two days ago at a school here in Brisbane and some girls had heard me speak a year ago and they, they told me how they'd put into practice uh, the message the, what they'd learnt from what I presented to them. That's very encouraging. These young men deciding to resist uh, pornographic scripts, the plan of the sex industry for their lives. Uh, this young man, 16, in a Tasmanian public school, uh, stood up and confronted his peers who were laughing at the rape jokes and the rape t-shirt section. And he said, how dare you laugh? This isn't funny. You can't just blow this off. This boy down here, 16 also, uh, I was addressing a Catholic music festival, a youth festival, 20,000 young people in Sydney. And he stood up at the end of my presentation and he said, I just want to apologise to any young woman here who's ever been hurt by a male. The place went ballistic. Girls were applauding, cheering, crying, asking for his phone number. And <laughs> boys were lined up for miles to apologise and to seek our forgiveness for what they had done. It was very moving, very profound. I have more uh, young men now working with me. One of them's here today, Daniel, who's been coming into schools with me. And You'll be hearing from him uh, shortly on the panel uh, with Richie. And we have another younger man, Dan, from uh, Canberra, but he's very sick. He's in hospital at the moment. He's only 20, and he's joined the team as well. And uh, we have another young guy here today as well, Tom. Now, Tom just contacted me a week ago, said, I want to get involved in this issue. I want to try and influence my peers. Uh, I know porn's destroying their lives and hurting them. What can I do? I said, can you get to this conference? And he said, yes. So Tom's here. He's only 19. So doesn't that give us some hope? <laughs>